Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. My name is Smart Money Mo and in today's video we're going to be going over how you can increase win rate as this was the highly requested video on the Instagram and if you want to put in your own uh, video requests make sure to check out the Instagram down below. Um, yeah and in today's video we're also going to be talking about the 2-25 to risk toward trade that I caught on GU and yeah let's begin. So the way to increase win rate. So now we're going to be going into exactly what increasing win rate like what do you have to do and yeah so the first, basically everything to do with this video is about adding confluence, right? And and kind of a bit of not getting stopped out, but we'll focus on adding confluence to trades. So the main ways to add confluence to trades is by, first of all, you have to ensure that all of the order block rules are being followed, right? And if you don't know any of the order block rules or you haven't checked out my video on the order block rules, make sure you check that out because making sure your order block follows all of the order block rules is the most important thing when trading the order block strategy right you want to make sure all the rules are being followed as this will minimize your chances of getting stopped out right so you want to make sure there's a break of structure you want to make sure your order block isn't mitigated or been tapped into and you want to make sure there's high volume at the order block right so you need to follow those three rules then afterwards once you've found that all of the order block rules are being followed then afterwards you can look for additional confluence right and this can be in the forms of equal highs and equal lows, which we'll go through later. Imbalance, Wyckoff, which we will, we will not be going through today, but there I have made two previous videos on Wyckoff, so you can check them out as well. Or, uh, and, and the trend, right? So oversold and overbought, which is the master market structure video. So a lot of you know fundamentals we're gonna be talking about in this video, uh, which I've already made videos on, so I definitely recommend to check out those ones out after you've watched this one. Let's continue with the process now. The process first you make sure your order block is valid right that's the first thing you want to do secondly once you you guys all done that you scan for liquidity and ensure by entering at your order block you will not get liquidated so i'm going to show you guys what that looks like now so let's say i've got this demand zone right demand zone or buy order block right and i want to ensure that i'm not getting liquidated when i'm entering at this order block and an example of somebody getting liquidated when trading an order block would be if at their, their order block, there is some sort of support, right? And we're talking about a demand zone here, a buy order block. So, if there is some sort of support, right? And right below this area, there's some sort of liquidity. It is very likely that smart money will come, show some reaction to this order block, right? And then afterwards, drop like crazily down. And the reason that will happen is because price is coming to grab this area of liquidity right so while you were thinking about entering from this order block and you know trying to crash some crazy take profit you failed to to observe that there was liquidity below the order block which was gonna result in you getting stopped out and actually you getting liquidated right so the the key thing you want to do is you want to avoid getting liquidated by making sure there is no support um at your order block right you know maybe if there's you know one tap beforehand or something like that it's not the end of the world or if maybe there's just one tap um slightly above it actually let me just create this up it's getting a bit messy so maybe if there's like one tap over here not that close that's 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 fine right i wouldn't be too concerned but if if at your your buy order block right you've got a full-blown support like this yeah and people are waiting for that a double mw whatever it's called then you, you shouldn't be entering that order block or you should be looking for a lower time frame confirmation, right? So you wait, see reaction and trade from an order block like this, right? I'll make a whole video on that coming soon as well. Same thing goes for the supply zone, right? If you've got the supply zone and you've got some area of resistance right here and you're still looking traders, you're making like you're making a mistake. You, sometimes it won't, this won't get liquidated, but most of the time I imagine you will be losing out on the trade right because you may see some reaction right and then you may you may get greedy and you may not you you know you may fail to notice all of that support all of that liquidity being stacked above there and price will come in and stop you out and it'll take off you know stopping you out right so that's the first thing to increase win rate we're trying to get we're not trying to get ourselves stopped out we're trying to increase win rate so make sure you're not entering that liquidity right okay now let's move on to the uh, third thing so we're going to look for equals and equals which will be taking on the way out so basically what I mean by that, I don't mean equal highs or equal lows over there. What I mean is that when price is coming down to your order block, we start to see some. So for a buy order block, we're looking for equal lows, right? So we might see some equal lows right here. Now, I like this because, and I'll just mark this out with equal lows, right? I like this because 
This means that price can grab these equal lows, which will fuel this movement right here, tap into our order block, and then show us reaction, right? This is extra confluence because if price is making equal lows right above this order block, it gives me an indication that price is looking to grab this liquidity so it can tap into the order block and then show us reaction, right? Although it's true that, you know, price can easily, you know, to grab the liquidity and then stop us out, it's more likely smart money is doing this so they can, you know, find the liquidity, so they can grab the liquidity on the way and tapping into that order block, right? And same thing goes over here. Now for sell order blocks, we're looking for equal highs, right? And I'm going to show you that right now. So, right, right here, we've got a set of equal highs. And this is great because same thing, price is going to come here, grab these equal lows and show some reaction, right? So this is, you know, this is a really nice scenario. It's a really strong sell order block supply zone. And the same thing goes for uh, this scenario over here, right? Grab, take off. Right, so that's that's another thing you want to look for. And lastly, look for uh, imbalance, right? As price is attracted to imbalance. So what I mean by that is right here, if we have an imbalance area, right? And I'll be making a whole video on imbalance soon, loads of videos to come, so make sure you stay tuned for those. If price has um, got this imbalance area, huge, huge candle over here, right? Or who huge area of um, of price inefficiency. What will happen is price will be attracted to mitigate this or fill out all of those orders that are um, that haven't been filled out at this imbalance. So it will fill out this imbalance, right? And then it may show us some reaction, right? And then we're going to get that mitigation of our order block, right? That's, and that's exactly what I like to see, right? And then again here, we might have some more imbalance, right? So price is going to be attracted to it. We're looking for it to, to come into our imbalance area. It might show some reaction. And then price is going to tap into our order block, right? And these are the three most important um, confluences that you should be looking for. And I'll do them one more time. Scan for liquidity. Look for equal highs and equal lows that will be taken out on the way. And then looking for imbalances as price is attracted to imbalances. Now that we've gone through the process and we've gone through exactly what we are doing to increase our win rate, let's go through that um, GU trade of, uh, I think it was 2 to 25. Um, so yeah, I'll see you guys there. All right, everybody, here we are on GU and we're now going to be going through exactly what my thought process was behind taking this trade and how I was able to add confluence to make sure I wasn't getting stopped at and how I got two entries as well. So that's an increased win rate from, you know, just one simple entry. And, you know, I wasn't getting stopped out. So let's begin. Now, first of all, I'd seen on GU um, that we had the strong buy buys, right? First of all, because we were always breaking previous highs, right? If I just show you here, we, we broke this previous high. Again, we broke this previous high, 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 high and high and high. Right, we're printing loads of higher highs, right? Secondly, we've had this also, this order block right here, which got mitigated recently and gave us even more reaction, right? So clearly on GU, we were at buy buys. So uh, if I just quickly replay price as well. So now that we were on a buy bias on GU, right? We were, we were clearly looking to look for demand zones and bullish OBs. Now I'm going to try and spot um, a bullish OB or a bullish opportunity that I can look for in the market. The first thing I spotted was that we had this break of structure to the upside right here. And then again, followed by another break of structure to the upside over there. But you guys can already see that. So if I just call this my BOS, right, my break of structure. Now I'm going to be looking for the zone which created this break of structure. So already we've got this higher time frame zone on the uh, one hour time frame. Right, we've got this one hour time frame zone. However, it's got an 18 pip stop loss. Uh, a stop loss and I'm not very comfortable with that, right? Instead, I'm going to go through the refining process and find a smaller zone within this zone, right? And if you haven't watched the refining video, definitely recommend watching the refining video. You know, you can like almost instantly increase RR by just going through that refining process, but also making sure you don't over refine, right? Anyways, let's go through the refining process. We'll go to the 30 minute. Not much change. However, there is this small wicked candle, which, which does look interesting. On the 15 minute, still nothing too interesting. There is this zone, but then that would be invalidated by this wick um and then we'll move on to the five minute right and here's where we where i actually found this down move candle for the up move right and i keep my stop loss at the zero in case price wants to come swing below here i don't get stopped out right so that's that's one of the things you want to make sure when you're not over refining right so we've got this lovely down move candle right there so i'm gonna mark that out all right i'll mark that out and then I'll bring my stop loss back down to the zero. So that is my new refined entry. 
right? And first of all, that's already increased my confluence and win rate because I'm not taking, you know, really stupid um, and high risk trades with, with rather large stop losses or, start, or a large stop loss for me. And instead, I've decreased that stop loss, right? And we've decreased that by now uh, nine, uh, sorry, uh, eight pips, right? A bit of mental maths there. So, um, so now that we've found our order block, right? We've found our zone. So I'll delete that old zone because we're no longer trading from it. Um, we'll go back to the 30 minute and I will look for our extra confluence, right? So first of all, we need to make sure that all of the order block rules are being followed. So we had that lower time. So we know it's not mitigated. We can just start with that. Second of all, we've got this area of high volume, right? Which will come in, in into play later. And third of all, we've got our breaker structure. So all of the order block rules are being followed. And now we can continue with the process. So um, I always talk about looking for equal highs and equal lows. And first of all, I, I've already spotted my equal highs and equal lows, right? I've spotted my equal lows right here, right? And uh, like I say, it's not always going to be perfect. And they won't, won't always be touching like perfectly, like um, the way I draw them on the diagrams. But it will look like some sort of um, support, right? Some it will look like some sort of support. So right here we've got you know some sort of support zone that uh, retail traders are looking to enter from, and this in itself is equal lows, right? So I'll just mark that out as our equal lows or our support zone. Um, I'll just delete that for now, right? And uh, so yeah, so now that we've got our equal lows, now what I expect for happen is to for price to come and then you know take the, out these equal lows, um, and I'll explain all of that when price gets to that stage. But for now, we, we've identified our equal lows. Now let's try and look for some imbalance, and as you can see, I've already marked that out here. Here's our imbalance, right? And like I see, price is attracted to imbalance. They're, they're attracted into filling in the orders, maybe showing a bit of reaction, and then tapping into our order blocks whilst also grabbing all of this liquidity, right? So now I've identified my two points of confluence. I've ensured that all of the order blocks or rules are being followed. Now we just have to, you know, see where this trade takes us, right? So if I play price, and we look at that liquidity being grabbed. Okay, first of all, one point to make is that I like I like what I'm looking at here. First of all, when the liquidity is being grabbed, we saw a sharp increase in volume right here, right? And that is very interesting because when liquidity is being grabbed, we expect smart money to be getting involved, right? And that is exactly what that's indicating to me. So it looks like we're, we're, we're going to be entering at this mitigation, right? And if I just get in our entry right here, this is our first entry, right? Stop loss right there. And then um, I think I targeted a lower time frame order block right, right here. That is our targets right there. Right? And I'll just extend this to the right. And then I'll put this up here, right? And that is our low time frame um, order block that we're targeting. So now that we've been tapped in, right? Uh, right there. There we go. So we've been tapped in in this order block, right? And we've entered ju just off the one for this one because, you, like I said, it's a refined order block. So I'm happy to take a trade like this. And also, uh, just to, just to, as a quick thing, we've got this imbalance, right? And then price came in. It showed us some reaction. Like I said, it may show you some reaction, but don't don't get duped out by this. Um, don't enter from this. Go for your order block. And now, now that price is going to show me some reaction, right? And as I'll show you guys now, right? We're seeing some reaction. And now I'm going to wait for my second entry, which is kind of the whole point of this video, right? So now if I go to the three minute to where that entry was, ooh, uh, replay price still about here. Again, I'm looking for that lower time frame order block, right? There was some over here, they weren't valid, right? They did break structure, but it was mitigated first of all, and it wasn't too clean. Um, again, there could have been one here, but price, you know, took that out, and I didn't look like the way this uh, long wick, right? Um, there was one here, so you could have got re-entry from there, but you would have got stopped out, right? But instead, I was looking at this zone right here right um and yeah and this is the zone i decided to re-enter from first of all because i'm pretty sure it breaks structure okay so it doesn't break structure completely but it breaks this previous high and that's that's all i need for the lower time frame right so price breaks this previous high there's our break structure high volume that's high enough for me on the lower time frame and now we've got that beautiful entry with such a small stop loss right a 2.8 pip stop loss and take profits to that to, to that same area. So now I've got this one to eighteen and that one to seven combined two to twenty five risk to reward trade. And if I just let this play out for you guys, I will speed things up. 
and we'll head on to the higher time frame to show you exactly what happened with this trade. Play price right now. In fact, I can just do this. And here we are at the current market with both of my uh, trades uh, hitting take profit. So that was today's trade on GU, explaining how you can increase win rate and ensure you're not getting stopped out. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, leave a like on the video and comment. And I'll see you guys in the next one.